Hello, I'm Emily Butterazzi. And I'm Ben Vahey. Thanks for joining us. We kick, off, we kick things off this episode with an update on the Brockport football team. Ben? The Brockport Golden Eagles football team is looking to stay undefeated after wins over Hobart, Ithaca, and St. John Fisher in the Courage Bowl. Can they go to 4 0? The Brockport Golden Eagles were home this past Saturday, taking on the Utica Pioneers in an Empire 8 showdown. First quarter, Utica strikes first. Lindell Reed scores a two-yard touchdown. The Pioneers go up seven to nothing. But here come the Golden Eagles. Justin Morrison, who had that Courage Bowl ESPN top play, shuffles his way through to the end zone, and we are all tied up 7-7. Second quarter now. Check this out. Joe Germanario with a long pass to Daquan Hubbard. Hubbard makes the catch, and he is going going gone for a 74 yard touchdown he's pretty happy about that as the golden eagles take the lead 14 to 7. later in the game joe germanario keeps it and runs it in for a touchdown for insurance and that's all the golden eagles would need as they remain undefeated beating utica 28 to 14. we caught up with germanario and morrison after the game and here's what they had to say we just trust our offensive line um, we think we have the best offensive line in the, in the conference and honestly probably the country we just we just go as they go so um, we have eat, we have great skill guys on the outside and it makes my job a hell of a lot easier so we're just going to go with them and just keep it rolling uh, the whole line just opened up the hole and our fullback coolie just cleared it out and i just saw daylight the golden eagles next game is saturday on the road at Cortland. kickoff is set for 2 p.m emily now has the latest on the field hockey team emily there are many games to look forward to this weekend, including the women's field hockey team, who is in action on Wednesday night by bouncing back from an eight-game losing streak. The Golden Eagles were able to hold on to a tough defensive game against Houghton College. Goalie Sarah Beam faced 30 shots and had 19 saves to help her team shut out the Highlanders. They look to keep this momentum going into the weekend as they face a strong 5-3 Cortland team at home on Friday. The women's soccer team got their first win in SUNYAC play last Saturday over Buffalo State. The Golden Eagles improved their record to 6-2-1 on the season. They will host SUNY New Paltz on Friday at 3 p.m. New Paltz has lost their last three games, two of which in conference play. The Golden Eagles are 1-1 in the conference and are led by freshman Sarah Covell who had two goals in the 3-2 win over Buffalo State. The Brockport men's soccer team hosted Buffalo State this past Saturday. The Golden Eagles were up one to nothing when our cameras arrived at the, on a Chris Ahern goal, but Buffalo State ties it up right here. August Finn ties the game up for the Bengals, and that sends the game into overtime. Brockport goalie Joseph Romano made six saves, facing 16 shots on 110 minutes to play, but the game ends with neither team coming out on top in overtime in a 1-1 draw. Senior Noelle Polenkars was named SUNYAC Volleyball Athlete of the Week after leading her team to a 3-0 start in conference play over the weekend. Polenkars had 103 assists, 12 kills, and 3 aces. On the defensive side, she had 31 digs and 1 block. The Golden Eagles will travel to Geneseo this weekend to tackle their second SUNY Pool Play event. In news surrounding the MLB, the New York Yankees have clinched home field advantage in the AL wildcard game by winning 6-1 at home over the Tampa Bay Rays Tuesday night. Aaron Hicks robbed a home run from Tampa Bay in the first inning, and Starling Castro hit a four-run home run in the second inning as the Yankees are hoping to clinch in the AL East. The Boston Red Sox, a division leader, lost 9-4 to the Toronto Blue Jays at home. That puts the Yankees three games back behind the Red Sox, so it should be very exciting the next week to see what happens in the AL East. So, Emily, what do you think is going on around? Do you think the Yankees are going to get that chance, or do you think the Red Sox are going to win tonight and clinch the AL East? Yeah, I think it's going to be very interesting. We'll just have to wait and see. We will. We'll know next week. Well, that is all the news surrounding Brockport sports this week. Make sure to check us out weekly on the Talon Television YouTube channel. Also, follow us on all of our social media pages. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily Butterazzi. And I'm Ben Vahey for Talon Sports. Thanks for watching.